Phil, first of all, welcome back to Gateshead. Obviously joining on loan for the, the rest of the season, probably around the same time you joined last year, to be honest. But first off, just how does it, does it feel to be back? Yeah, no, thank you. It uh, feels exciting to be back for different reasons. Uh, obviously, I'm coming here to, to play some men's football again. Also exciting to be to be in with the same same lads as last year. There's a lot of the same, also a lot of new players, so uh, it should be an exciting challenge. Yeah, and you mentioned there obviously still a, a fair few of the the lads from last season who obviously you, you know well. So you know, for getting into training this morning, not too much of a huge sort of period of acclimatising and new faces and things like that really for you. Yeah, I think that makes it easier to settle in. You know, when you're playing games, there's lots of different pressures. So um, I know at least, I know, I know the lads that are around me, so that will help me um, when I'm playing more and more games. So I'm thankful to have them around me. And of course, it'd be a, about half a year or so since, since fans obviously saw you. Obviously, you played a regular fixture in, in the second half of last season, obviously winning the league. I mean, I don't think we've actually spoke to you even just on that. I mean, I suppose for your first taste of, of that level of football it probably couldn't have gone much better for you yeah it was a perfect start like you say it was uh um you know we were flying it was a great group to be in as well so yeah i was really lucky to be able to be part of that group and yeah like i said i'm happy to be back now again and since then obviously being back at villa a bit of a a return to sort of the 21s football a bit a bit of taste of, of playing with the the first team as well and, and being around that so just what have you been up to first half of the season really? Yeah so um, I've played a little bit you know with the academy with the 21s, um, played a couple of times with the first team and you know sort of friendly matches and I've been in and around that a little bit which has been really good, been exposed to a lot of a lot of different things you know quite a high level of football so that's where it's that's how the season's gone so far and like I said now I'm excited to get in some regular games playing in men's football again and, and this time in a higher league. Yeah, and obviously as well, signed a new contract at Villa back in August. Obviously not too long after you went back after the end of the season here. So, I mean, how did that come about for you? And I suppose, when did you find out that was going to be something on the table for you? Yeah, so um, sort of those kind of things kind of start to brew towards the end of the season. You know, I thought I had, I had a pretty good end to last season with how, how it went here um, and I had a year left and sort of just before the summer, the talk started um, uh, about signing a new contract, and then yeah, uh, just to, just before the season started, uh, I signed a new contract. Yeah, and I mean, how much do you think, obviously, coming out on loan, getting a bit of senior experience, sort of played in in that happening for you? I think it's a big part because it shows the club how you are in that men's environment. You know. Um, that's all that matters at the end of the day, how well you perform in games and there's no better way to improve in games than coming out on loan and playing in men's football. You can train as much as you want and be as good in training, but what matters is what you do on the pitch. So I think that plays a vital role. Yeah, and in terms of obviously that, that second half of the season, you're getting that experience that you mentioned there. I mean, how do you think that you you use that in terms of progressing as a player from you know when you first came in to, to the end of the season and then I suppose using that to prepare you for, for going back to Villa this season? Yeah I think maturity is the, the big thing it gives you so you know that need to win games uh, is something you don't get as much in, in academy football so a lot of maturity, maturity has to come into it um, you need to be really reliable and the way you hold yourself is really big because players in this league can sort of pick, pick stuff out if if you know you hide a little bit so you need to be out there you need to be mature and I think that's what I sort of brought from last season into coming into this season. Yeah and obviously coming back into the, the squad now for second half of the season but when did it sort of first materialise that you know that there was some interest in, in bringing you back and, and what went into the, the decision to, to come back? So the summer was quite tough because um, I, I think alone wasn't on the cards for me just in terms of Villa wanted me to stay in and, and you know being around being around that squad um, and then just before the transfer window I think I found out I was going to be able to come in and uh, be able to go out on loan on Villa's side and obviously we were in touch with Gateshead and um, from there it went pretty smoothly so just sort of before the transfer window opened. Obviously stepping up a, 
a level in terms of competition and in terms of stature as well. Really, you know, bigger crowds, bigger fan bases, bigger stadiums, all that coming alongside. I mean, it's not something I, I imagine that phases you given the the Cruyff turns on the line and I think in the second game here when you Chester won a volley back up the pitch against Blythe. So I'm assuming that's something you're looking forward to as well though. Yeah, I like, you know, that, that pressure is something, uh, you know, every player wants to play in. It's going to be a different challenge to next season, which why, like I said, I'm excited to be back here because it's going to be a different test for me. Um, the game's going to be a lot tougher, you know, playing in a better league. So, but I'm, I'm looking forward to that added pressure, yeah. Yeah, and a, a different kind of pressure, I suppose, this season in, in terms of where the club's fighting in the league. Obviously, trying to stay in the divisions, the, the primary aim at the minute. So, I mean, how are you looking ahead to taking on that different challenge yourself personally? Yeah, so, I mean, I'll assume, I assume I'm going to be more involved in games. You know, uh, last season, I mean, as now, I'm sure, sure we are, but the team was amazing. Like, I didn't have as big a role to play as I assume I will this season, so... I'm guessing it will be, I'll probably have to be a bit busy, yeah. yeah. And obviously, no Monty from, from last season as well. He's obviously been playing this season and coming in a bit of healthy competition with him. And I suppose someone that you know coming in is, is going to push you and, and likewise, you're going to push him as well. Yeah, 100%. You know, we're, we're going to push each other. Our relationship's really good. No matter who's playing, um, one of us will be there for the other. So I don't have any, any doubts there and I'm excited to be working with him again.